This is Morning Live and a warm welcome back. Helen Suzman Foundation took Hawke's post, Lieutenant General Bernie Klemeza to court, saying he should be removed from office after reports that a court of law had found him to be lacking integrity. Well, last week the court dismissed the foundation's court case and we're now joined from our Cape Town studios by Hawke's spokesperson, Brigadier uh, Hangwani Mula. It's a very good morning to you, sir. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, what an important victory indeed uh, to Lieutenant General Ntlemeza. What impact does this have on the team? Well, um, Simpua, thank you for having us. Um, um, look, the, the, the impact has been very much phenomenal in the sense that you know that for the past year, uh, there has been a lot of uh, verbal diarrhea that was coming out of the different quarters of our country, uh, your so-called civil organizations, the media, uh, that were actually um, purporting and uh, also fueling lots of allegations that the national head of the DPCI uh, was a person without integrity. And uh, obviously we were of the view that um, we need to give this process, you know, a time to be able to, do, to be taken to court as it has happened. And uh, it, it was taken to court, uh, the Pretoria High Court, and the judge then uh, dismissed the case. But the Helen Sussman Foundation, together with the other uh, society organizations, decided to go straight to the Constitutional Court. And the, the decision was then rubber stamped in the sense that... Uh, we were given, uh, I mean, the national head was exonerated from all these allegations that were, were being made against him. Look, um, you would know that uh, since his appointment, uh, the national head, uh, there were areas uh, that were being, I mean, they, he was being questioned on a lot of stuff. And at the same time, the, uh, the, the, his, the sentiments that were being made at the time when they were said his integrity was being questioned. Uh, the Minister of Police has been on record on several occasions to say that this was not a court finding. And this matter will also say that it is a matter between the national head and the, uh, the justice, the, I mean the JSC, where he is taking this matter further to be able to clean you know, his name. But um, a lot of people then, you know, tried by all means to make sure that they use uh, that sentiment that was said by the judge then uh, to be able to unseat him. So unfortunately, uh, they have lost and that is why we're coming here today to inform the public because there was um, on the same day two judgments uh, that were made by the Constitutional Court, but we saw that ours was never uh, taken into consideration. Uh, so cementing the fact that obviously um, the media that was being used then um, they were also being used not to make sure that the public is made aware of this uh, groundbreaking um, uh, judgment. Now, Mr. Mulawzi, take us back to the crux of the court findings. What exactly did the court find? Well, look, the, the issue, there were two issues or three issues that were being raised. One, that the national head does not have integrity, hence he needs to be taken out of his seat. Uh, the second one was that uh, he should not take any decisions uh, pending the court case itself. Um, and thirdly, obviously, is to, to make sure that uh, because of integrity, uh, he's a person that must be actually be taken out of the system and, be, and then a review must be made in terms of making sure that he is the right person for the job. Um, Gerard Tameza was a nobody uh, one, uh, one and a half year ago. Uh, when he came in, he made it clear that his job was to make sure that he deals with serious crime in this, in, uh, I mean, in this country. Uh, but uh, since his appointment, we have seen a lot of, uh, you know, a deluge of allegations that were made against him. Similarly uh, to that um, of the acting national commissioner when he was appointed, there were so, so many things that were said against him. So hence we felt that, you know, for us to be seen not to be um, meddling with the, the court uh, processes, let us step down and uh, give these processes uh, a chance to unfold uh, and also argue our own uh, points in court. And hence we, we were able to, to convince the court that these matters that were being brought in, uh, they're just a fallacy, it's just a, an, an, an act or a way of trying to unseat and unsettle the hawks in terms of their mandate when dealing with serious crime in this country. Now, the hoax credibility has been questioned, isn't it? First, uh, with the accusations of political interference and, of course, the ill-treatment of Minister Pravin Gordon. Just exactly how does the office work? Look, and I think it's something that I think from our side as well, we also need to, um, to go out to the public and actually try and, um, 
and, and teach our people how we actually uh, function. The hawks uh, does not willy-nilly open cases. Cases are brought uh, or are referred to us for further investigations. So that decision is taken between the national commissioner as well as the director, I mean the national head of the, of, 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 of the, of the DPCI. Uh, Geran Tameza has also got the right to take whatever case he feels is necessary to be, in fact of, uh, to be investigated. That, that, that's how we operate. Now, all these allegations of us being, uh, you know, political meddling and all those kind of things. Well, these are things that we would not want to even bother ourselves. And also, I also want to, 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 to ask for your um, uh, indulgence in this matter uh, regarding the, the, the national treasury that we would not talk about it because already now it's in the hands of the NPA. All right. All right, Mr. Mulawuzi, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, great chatting to you. Uh, thanks indeed for your time. That was uh, Mr. The, the hoax spokesperson, Brigadier Hangwani Mulawuzi from our Cape Town studios. And time now thank for you. sports news.